Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from May the 6th up to the 12th of May 2018. And this is for you coming from Aries. So let's start with the 6th of May, which is a Sunday. And things are not going to go well for you, not only in the morning, afternoon, but also in the evening and nightfall period. A very troublesome Sunday awaits you. So morning and afternoon, you're going to be probably with the people you love and the people that you are staying with or living with. Things can go very, very wrong. Make sure it's not you who starts to get things showing your temper or trying to be very pushy or being rude. You can only control your own horoscope. You cannot control anybody else's. So you have to keep a control and don't bring up touchy issues as well. It will be spoiling the morning and afternoon for everybody if you show arrogance either. And so might as well let other people take the lead. Don't want to control, don't want to plan. Just sit back and be the follower. And you may just lessen all these problems awaiting that you can create. And that way you'll have a better morning afternoon period. Be careful of accidents as well. Because I see a planet there that can bring accidents of all kinds in the morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall period, very rebellious planets are there. And these rebellious planets, of course, make you behave very rebelliously. And when they do that, you become defiant and you are not happy with what's being planned. And so you're going to be a handful of a person looking for trouble throughout the whole day. Evening, nightfall, don't be unnecessarily provocative or want to do things that might shock people. Don't drink too much and drive very carefully. I would rather if you don't be out and just be in the safety of your own home. The 7th of May, which is a working day, and it's a very good day for you, morning, afternoon at least. And at your place of work, you can get very good news and you can have many opportunities of showing off your talents. So focus, if you are, have a job, focus on what you need to do. You are being watched by your superiors. And when you do things well, you're going to get good news coming your way. And whether in personal areas, whether in lunch areas, whether whatever you do morning, afternoon, you'll find that plenty of things, whatever you say and do, people want to hear. So communicate, ask favors, and you're going to have a very good morning, afternoon period. Talks of holidays, talks of travel are also seen. You might be on the internet making some fantastic contacts as well. Evening, nightfall, many business planets are there. And these business planets basically will bring the opportunity of business. So you have the benefit of having some of your good morning, afternoon planets in the evening as well. So mix it up with business and pleasure. And you will find that the only drawback about the evening nightfall is you might become hasty, you might become impatient, you might become argumentative. Don't want to allow these few things and you'll have a perfectly wonderful evening nightfall as well. Drive slowly though. 8th of May doesn't start well for you and is not going to end well. So you've got 24 hours to worry about in any area of your life. Morning up in the morning period itself, by the time you wake up, things are not good. Problems are approaching you, trouble is seen and all kinds of difficulties will also be seen. So drive carefully to work as well. Don't create problems at home. At your place of work, there will be news awaiting for you, depressing some kind of stuff like that. Planets are moving very slow, so delays in whatever you want done, deadlines may be broken. All these kind of problems are there. So you have to be on the ball. You have to tell yourself, I have to take charge of the morning afternoon period, get things done. Some depressive news is also there, so be prepared. The main thing is not to get things wrong. Otherwise, the finger of blame comes very quickly for you in the morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall period is going to be extremely good. I'm sorry, it's going to be extremely bad. Sorry. And so I would rather that you are not out in the evening socializing because things are going to go very, very wrong. Firstly, the negative planets of morning afternoon are going to be there in the evening nightfall. Secondly, a new batch of problems are seen because new planets in the evening nightfall are also there. 
breakups in personal relationship, break up with whoever you are, whether it's business people, whether it's your working people. So with all these things possible, perhaps you should just go home after work and just remain in the safety of your own home with the people you know and you don't create new possibilities of things going wrong. It's a day where anything can go wrong. The 9th of May is totally the opposite. You've got 24 hours of good luck this time. That's when you want to continue and talk about what your plans are. So communicate, contact people morning, afternoon period. You are given the leadership role at your place of work or even in business. And everything that you try to do is going to become lucky, basically. So ask favors and take the lead and you'll be able to show off your capabilities, whether in business or work. Chase for, the, chase for the romance you're looking for and have lunch with the people you love. It's going to be a great period of bonding this morning and afternoon period. And the evening nightfall period is just as good. You can plan holidays, you can be on a holiday, you can be on the internet, you can meet people of the foreign uh, countries or go to foreign countries on the internet itself. All these contexts are seen to be very good for you. Well, if you're socializing, it's a good idea because you're going to meet very interesting people. Your aura will be very strong and what you say and do is going to be very lucky. So be out and about and you'll be able to get more than a handful of an uh, advantage. <clears throat> the 10th of May, Thursday starts very nicely for you. Good news at your place of work or in business. Everything you say or do, the limelight is on you. The leadership role is given to you. People want to hear what you say, what you do. So talk about things like that. Project your ideas, project yourself, project your capabilities. Only try to do it without being arrogant. Evening, nightfall, very slow, depressing planets are there. Firstly, they can produce trouble which can be mentioned or brought up in the evening nightfall session and of course you won't be happy. Or you might meet people from your past that you don't like. Or you could just get news about the past or family people which is very depressing. So it's a depressing evening nightfall period. Be careful whose company you keep. And if you really don't have to be out, just go back home. You'll be much safer there. The 11th of May is an excellent 24 hours for you. It's a Friday and you're going, you're going to be very imaginative, creative and have the possibilities of showing off your talents in the morning afternoon period. There are a couple of emotional planets there. So you are, if you're at a place of work or in business, the emotional planets should be put under control. They may make you dreamlike, they make you waste your time, you might miss deadlines because of that. You may be distracted, you may be overwhelmed with emotional problems. So these emotional situations are there. But these planets are actually quite friendly. So you might have romance on your mind, you might have this infatuation on somebody, but tell yourself three words, reality, facts and figures. That's what you have to do in this morning afternoon period or you might just miss your deadlines. Evening, nightfall, very powerful planets are there. One of these powerful planets also comes in the morning afternoon period to give you this determination and the will to go on. But evening nightfall becomes very lucky as well. And so evening nightfall, be out, whether it's with the people you work with, if that's what you want to improve, is the business people you do business with, if that's where you want to go and make new contacts or win new contracts. Or is it chasing for the romance, a new one, or is it being out with the people you love? Anything you do, evening nightfall session is going to go very down, go down very nicely. Only thing is take the soft approach because some of these planets can make you overdetermined to do what you want and some may find you coming out too strong. So take the soft approach, you'll have a very good time. And now we go to the 12th, which is a Saturday. And the 12th Saturday is going to be extremely lucky for you as well. Morning, afternoon, very good news at your place of work. Be prepared for it. Show off your talents. Talk to your bosses about your ideas. Project yourself. Some good news is waiting for you to happen. You've got to excite these planets by doing all these things. And the area of growth and the area of getting a good news of a promotion is all there. So plenty of good news comes your way that way. Morning and afternoon period. Plenty of business planets are there as well. It's a Saturday, but mixed business and pleasure. 
try not to be dominating. One of these planets tends to make you do that in the morning, afternoon period. Evening, nightfall, also wonderful. You're very lucky meeting people who can help you in any area you want. So be choosy. If, the, if you want to improve your area of job, be out with the people you work with or your bosses. If it's a business area you want to tackle, invite some business opportunity people over there as well in the evening nightfall period. Or just have a lot of fun. Try not to show too much leadership role because it tends to make you a bit fussy. Just take it easy and you'll do well. Well, that's the week for you. And uh, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And that's based on your date of birth and time of birth and me looking at your palms and face feeding you while I Skype. And I'll talk to you about your next seven or eight years in all areas of your life. Go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email and let's get down to getting this seven or eight years right for you. All it'll cost you is USD 50, that's all. Until then, thank you and good luck.